Hi, this is my story to you. I remember it was like yesterday that I arrived in London. I know go to ninety more than dollar London. Now it's already been six months doing my dream master degrees at my dream university. Life is beautiful, isn't it? Well, it wasn't that easy to start with. When I landed in this new city on September last year, boom, lots of things have been going on. I started off with 14 days self quarantine, then the second lockdown for one month. There was new coronavirus variant. London was moved into tier four and tier five in December. No Halloween, no Christmas celebrations, and finally, the third lockdown is still ongoing right now, the longest ever. How did I survive all of that? There will be a long list of the things that I can complain, but what will I get back? It won't change anything anyway. It only makes me more upset and frustrated. So instead of complaining, I learn how to embrace the situation and live with it. I thought I would only struggle with food in the first place because I absolutely had no idea how to cook. But then I was struggling with something else. Loneliness. I didn't realize it was that serious until I could not handle it anymore. Loneliness has been with me for the first couple months of moving here. I've always thought that I've been always strong enough to do things on my own, and loneliness will never be an issue for me. But I was all wrong. Many random thoughts were running in my head. I've been asking myself if I'm I making the right life decision to be here. Am I chasing for the right things? I was happier before coming here. I started to question if there is anything wrong with me. I somehow tried so hard to initiate conversations, but it only ended up with shallow talks. I didn't feel emotionally connected, and I'm so tired of it. To be honest with you, it's been extremely difficult to make new friends here, considering most people are studying online without even seeing each other's face, and we have to wear masks all the time. I didn't know whom I can open up this to, or perhaps I didn't want to show my weaknesses or vulnerability, or maybe I thought my problem is too tiny comparing to other people who might lost their jobs to COVID-19 or don't even have like enough food to eat. Who am I to complain about all of this stupid feeling? But then it didn't go away easily. It started to hit me harder and harder. So I asked myself, what should I do to pick up myself back? Then I got a wake-up call that maybe I was stressing myself too much in relying on other people to make me happy, and completely forget how to love and take care of myself. So I decided to take a break from social media and focus more on myself instead. I learned how to enjoy my own company, exploring new places, trying new foods, catching up with new hobbies such as learning how to cook new food, go jogging or cycling into parks, listening to self-development podcasts, and also trying meditation. Gradually, you know, I felt happier with myself. I started to be more grateful of what I'm having right now, and I started to appreciate the connections I had with my family and friends back home. You know, at least I'm stuck under the roof. I have three meals per day. I still can access to education, and this is the best thing I should be forever thankful. Later on, when I'm happy with myself, the right people slowly came to me when I least expected. If I keep chasing for people, it only chases them away. There is a quote saying that nobody can make you happy until you are happy with yourself first, and I kind of agree with that. And I think. Mental health is something that we all should talk about openly. Christmas, I gave you <laughs> When life gets tough, it's very important to think that you are not alone in this journey. Others are also fighting with their silent battles. You know, pandemic is scary enough, but. Loneliness is way scarier if you don't know how to manage it wisely. 
It's been a wild ride living here. It's been a year of investing in myself and fulfilling my goals. The fact that I made it to where I am right now is the most rewarding gift during this tough time. If I could do it all over again, I still would not change things because, you know, I believe everything happened for a reason. From meeting particular people to having particular experiences, those things would not be the same without your presence. This is my story, and I just want you to know that we're all in this together. Keep fighting, no matter what. Thank you.